I should point out that most of the time my phone service looked like this, and then sometimes it looked like this. Day one. Arrived late, somebody flipped their truck over, creating a traffic jam, so... Did some late night fishing. Got to camp after dark. Set up the tent, saw some bugs, had some dinner, and went to sleep. Only to awaken to the sound of something sniffing around the tent. Now it could have just been a dog, as there were several in the park, but I maintain that I was being menaced by a bear. Day 2. Wake up, glad to be alive. Okay, so more bugs. Mola Mushroom! Bubba Gump Shrimp! Moonshine! 13 shots! Wander around! Pigeons! Arcadia, finally. Arcadia is, I guess what you would have to call a modern arcade. They do have some games in the traditional coin-op style, as well as a selection of very nice pinball games. But the majority of Arcadia is designated to the types of games that you would see in a Chuck E. Cheese's these days. They also have skee ball, air hockey, whatever this is. All in all, I had a great time at Arcadia. While I was a bit disappointed there weren't many options for the traditional coin op style arcade games, they did have this. Mini review! Holy shit guys, a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game in 2018. And it plays just like the original Ninja Turtles arcade games with some new features. This game is based on the 2012 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles show, but seems to feature a hybrid of that show's characters as well as classic characters like the 1987 version of Krang, for example. It's everything I wanted in a new Turtles arcade game. You've got destructible environments, hidden power-ups, that classic four-player control scheme, there's basic weapon attacks and jump kicks, including a new ability called Turtle Power that attacks every on-screen enemy at once. The controls are very responsive. And yes, you can even throw your enemies towards the screen, just like in Turtles in Time. I had a blast with this game. It just goes to show that this style of game can still be successful. If you love side-scrolling beat-em-ups, then you owe it to yourself to seek this one out. Or if you've got nine grand just laying around, pick one up for yourself. More fishing. Saw a snake. First beaver sighting. Dinner. Grilled chicken, corn, more bugs. First synchronous fireflies. Pretty cool. Sleep. Day 3. Wake up. Breakfast at Log Cabin Pancakes. Fishing. Second beaver sighting. Dinner. Second synchronous fireflies. Still pretty cool. Sleep. No bears. Day 4. Wake up. Break down the tent. More bugs. More fishing. Lunch at Fridays. All in all, I would say that this was far more successful than my previous trip to Gatlinburg back in 2012. Oh shit, oh shit. It's happening. This is real. 